Hello guys, you're welcome back to my channel. My name is Tessie. Good morning, good afternoon, and good evening to you all, depending on where you are watching from. Hope you all are doing well, and thank you so much for stopping by Yoruba Nation Agitators, others, Storm UN Headquarters in New York. Yeah, like you all know, the one the one million man march organized by professor banji akinto he started yesterday 14th of september and according to him this will last for 11 days to expose president muhammad buhari to the world now yesterday it started and it recorded a huge sources I'm going to be reading out uh, some of uh, the news for you guys, how, what really happened, what transpired. This news is coming from Punch newspaper. But please, if you're just watching for the first time or you've been watching without subscribing, please do us a favor by clicking on the red subscribe button down below to subscribe also on the notification button. In that way, anytime we upload a new video, they will notify you. And I pray that the same way you all are supporting us in this channel, God will definitely send people. People that will support you in whatever you are doing in life in Jesus' name. Amen. This news I read Yoruba Nation agitators and other self determination groups have arrived at the United Nations headquarters in New York. The agitators held placards with different inscriptions. Earlier, the chairman of Nigerian Indigenous Nationalities Alliance for Self Determination, Professor Banji Akintoye, declared that. A million man freedom march would hold opposite the United Nations headquarters in New York, United States of America from 14th to 24th September 2021. Akintoye said the protest is meant to show the world the genocide being perpetrated by murderous hexmen in the name of grazing in the South and Middle Belt of Nigeria. The renowned historian said the people of the South and Middle Belt want to show to the world the crime against humanity, attacks on press, freedom, free speech, and other criminalities being aided by the Buhari-led government of Nigeria. The Octo-Nigerian scholar stated that the indigenous people within the Nina's territories are demanding the conduct of a regional referendum so that the people can decide on their nationhood. Nina's is the umbrella body for self-determination groups in the South and Middle Belt of Nigeria, with Elana Omo'odua representing the Yoruba land, Lower Niger Congress representing the South South and South East and Middle Belt Renaissance Movement representing the Middle Belt region. In a letter addressed to UN, the agitator said, We, the indigenous people of Nigeria, gathered today at the headquarters of the United Nations in New York to alert the UN and the rest of the global community that the Union of Nigeria has failed irredeemable and is now at the verge of a violent disintegration with catastrophic consequences for global peace and security as our population of over 200 million would become an instant global refugee nightmare amidst the extraordinary difficulties inflicted by the imposition and enforcement of Sharia by a section of Nigeria in a supposedly secular union. The immediate reason for this looming catastrophe is the cocktail of mass killing, kidnapping, and general banditry being orchestrated against the indigenous people of Nigeria by an invading Fulani militia masquerading as hesmen in an undisguised ethnic cleansing campaign that progressively demonstrates the complicity of the federal government of Nigeria, headed by Major General Muhammad Buhari, a Fulani man who, as a commander-in-chief of the armed forces of Nigeria, is also the live grand patron of the notorious Mieti Ala Kato Breeders Association of Nigeria that proudly takes responsibility for the murderous exploit of the Fulani Hexman militia designated the fourth most deadly terror group. An online petition convening the demands of that constitutional force major proclamation is currently before the UN Security 
Council that Nigeria has failed as a state is no longer a subject for debate. Having emerged the global poverty capital and playing host to two of the world's top four most deadly terrorist organizations with three quarters of the constituent component, South and Middle Belt, seeking urgent extract by the way of referendum from what has become a union of that. All right, so my people, and uh, that is it for you all. From Professor Banji Akintoye's uh, One Million Man March for Freedom, me as a person, I they like and win people, they accompany their talk with actions. And uh, the thing we would see in this case of uh, Professor Banji Akintoye, since we don't talk for local level, they know here it is time to take it international. And as we take them there, if they're not still here, we will continue to the talk until they will decide to hear. So kudos to Professor Banji Akintoye and his team. The world really need to come to our rescue, especially the British government. Britain, they need to come and look into this thing they joined together. They need to come and look into it because they cannot say they are not seeing or maybe they are not hearing everything happening in Nigeria. Even though they know they come, their embassy where they you know they report back to them, which I know they are very much aware of all the atrocities being committed by these moderate, uh, moderate Fulani, Fulani headsmen, like they put it in this particular article that I I read, I, I read for you guys. If their embassy are not reporting back to them, they are on social media. They are seeing, they are watching other videos. They are the ones who joined this marriage of inconveniences. So now that it is not working, we are calling up, we are calling on them to come and look into it. Before these people will finish people here. Eh? These people, their mission, their agenda in this country is not a good one. It is a very dangerous one. And just like Professor Banji Akintoye said, it will be very dangerous for you to say that those Fulanis, they are here for trade. They are here for a different mission, which they are gradually executing. So we are calling on the world to come for our aid because we are tired. Some of us now, we don't talk. We don't do the more of you do. You go outside, you go protest, they will cut off your head. You talk, they will come after you. So we are calling on them to come and do something concerning this marriage of inconvenience. Because when it go by fire, it could definitely affect them, just like what they said in their statement. So they've done well. The thing started yesterday and we are looking up to today also to see what we happen. Definitely, whatever happens, I will definitely keep you guys updated. And that is it for you all for this particular news. I'm just going to leave you all to share your thoughts with me on the comment section. And with that, I will say thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate your love, your support and effort upon this channel. It is not taken for granted. So let me know what you think and I'll see you all in my next video. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.